You want to support Roller March Unfiltered? Be sure to join our Bring the Funk fan club. Every dollar that you give to us supports our daily digital show. There's only one daily digital show out here that keeps it black and keep it real. It's Roller Martin Unfiltered. Support the Roller Martin Unfiltered daily digital show by going to RollerMartinUnfiltered.com. You can make this possible. Uh, news was made uh, yesterday when MSNBC announced that Rashida Jones is going to be the new president of MSNBC. She is going to be replacing uh, Phil Griffin, who has spent 25 years uh, at the network. Uh, the decision uh, to name her president means that she becomes the first African-American, uh, the first African-American uh, to run a major news. I didn't say first black female executive. In the history of news, no African-American has ever run a network news division. Not one. Okay? Not one. And so um, what's important here, what are we showing here? I don't thank you. What was that? All right, so um, just keep it on Rashida. So here's the deal with, with, with this right here, with, with what's happening here. If you look at the numbers, look at the numbers. At CBS News right now, Kim Godwin is the number two at CBS News. Uh, Mark Whitaker, who was awful at CNN, I was there. Uh, he was the number two at CNN uh, as the managing editor. He was awful, okay, and I got no problem saying it. Uh, so when you look at these networks, you have never had an African-American who has ascended uh, to run a news network. Now, um, let me unpack this. Let me unpack this, Candace. Um, it is absolutely, you know, I'm, I'm a huge believer. It's important that we, uh, we are in all of these places. But what we're talking about here, and this is why this is important. This is important, Candace, because this is an operational role. This is an operational role, okay? And the reason that it's important is because for, for long, if you go back to the Kerner Commission Report 1968, where they examined the race rise mm -hmm. in 67, they said there were, there were two right. nations, one, uh, one black, one white, and they called on the media to diversify. So for the longest, African Americans have talked about only oh, the excitement of seeing faces on the air. And so recently they announced that J Jonathan Capehart, Tiffany Cross are going to be hosting uh, weekend shows, one on Saturday, one on Sunday on MSNBC. As the vice president digital for the National Association of Black Journalists, I have been making the point that it's the operational roles important. Because why is that? Because Rashida Jones as president becomes the person who picks who goes on the air. Right. That's what the That's power right. is. She will be controlling the daily news meeting in terms of what the direction is for the network, digital and linear, all day. And so, and that's the thing that where, where, because see, every day when I'm, when I'm looking at uh, Deadline.com, I'm looking at Variety and the Hollywood Reporter, and I'm looking at The Wrap, and I'm looking at all of these different positions that are being hired at Netflix and Warner Media and Disney. I'm looking at the faces, and the reality is this here. There are very few black faces who are hired in these operational roles. Oh, no, no, no. I, I, I get a oh, so-and-so guy development deal uh, over here. Uh, at this network, and so and so got this th this deal over here. And, and let me tell you something right now. And, and I get it. I need mean, people, people understand that people. Say, oh yeah, but Stephen A. making eight million dollars a year at ESPN, and, Ro and, and, and Robin Roberts uh, is making fifteen million at Good Morning America. Mm -hmm. Guess what the executives are making? Mm -hmm. And they don't have to worry about hair and makeup and how their nails look and what people are saying about them. And they can do those jobs, man, until they're 70, 75, 80, and they can go on and on. They are operating in the millions. That's, that's where we begin to understand the power dynamic. And so I think for a lot of us, it's great to be to see the faces being hired on air, which is important. But we had better focus on also challenging these companies to make sure we're getting hired for the, for the power positions. And that's the operational jobs. Candace, go ahead. Absolutely. Roland, I teach TV and I put a lot of African-American men and women out in the field to be reporters and to be in newsrooms. They tell me the same thing all the time. 
I am the O and O in my newsroom, or one of two. By O and O, I mean one and only. So, and generally along my career, that has been the case. That you look up, you're the only one kind of really having the opportunity to advocate to say what goes in the news. Because once something goes in the news, then it becomes part of people's conversation. Then they see it as important. This is a connecting the dots, just like you were saying. If they see it as important, then they're going to, you know, put it on the top of their agenda in terms of what we need to vote upon or what makes you know, what's right, what's wrong. If people are talking about it, then it's going to be on somebody's agenda. So we need people at the table. And you're right, this is very important because she is going to be making decisions about who goes on air. I think that we've started to see the changes already as you've seen, because not only are they on air, but as you know, as being the host of a show, you also make decisions. You're at the table, you're coming up with the rundown to say, this stays, this goes. This goes at the top of the show. What type of guests do I want? I'd like to have more diversity. We need somebody who's Latino. We need somebody who's Native American. We need all of these things. So this is a big deal and a long time coming. And just like any other position that somebody gets that's big, who's African-American, we're gonna start seeing people change their views about how they see people in the newsroom in roles of power because they are just not there. This, is, this is the thing, frankly, um, Michael, when we talk about, again, I'm going back to black power. Yes. Black power. It's understanding how it's being used in leverage. The point that Candace just made, I am not just the host of the show. I'm the managing editor of the show. That was the right. case when I was at TV One as well, which meant I had final say-so on the editorial content of the show. That is the key. Who controls the narrative? What stories are now being emphasized over other stories? What now becomes uh, the messaging? Where we begin to shift resources? What parts of the country do we go to? All of those things matter, and it matters who is sitting in the position because historically in media, the reality, like just like in corporate America, white men are in control of media in America. Well, this is extremely important, brother. And, uh, you know, I talk about how power is the ability to define and shape reality and help other people accept your definition of reality as if it were their own, as uh, Dr. Wade Nobles teaches us. So when we deal with media and I have a background in media, um, this influences the conversation. This influences what people are are talking about, what they're reading. Uh, when you uh, con when you have control over content like this at MSNBC, this 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 influences the snippets, the uh, video clips that show up on Facebook and YouTube and Twitter, things like this. Articles are then written about this as well. This is an opportunity for us to get more of our issues pushed out nationally that influence legislation, that influence policies, et cetera. But it's also important for us to understand we African-Americans pay for these positions because these positions are because advertisers, corporations advertise with MSNBC. They take that money and then pay these people for these positions. Well, a lot of these advertise, a lot of these corporations get money from African-Americans. So we also have to understand this uh, on this other side is leveraging our economics to push harder for these various positions, not just at MSNBC, but at CNN and, and things like that as well, because we pay for them also. And this helps us in addition to African-American owned media. We need that. So I'm not knocking African-American owned media. I want people to understand me on this. We need, we need both. We need both. We need both because we pay for them. We pay for those positions also, so this is extremely important. So, 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 Rena, and again, it, what, what I what I'm looking for people to to, to understand on this is um, looking for them to understand how you must see this whole deal. Understand, and 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 again, I go back to power. Who is in power? how power is being controlled, how power is being defined. Because now, having Rashida Jones sitting in the position of president, now it's who are the contributors? Mm -hmm. That's who right. Who are the correspondents? Who are the executive producers? Who are the senior producers? Who are the line producers? Uh, who are the associate producers? Who are the interns? Uh, and again, all those things matter, and now, Again, now you're able to now bring that, and, and and this is where also 
with a Rashida Jones being in as president, and this is the key, and see, this is why I need people to understand, everybody out there, when y'all, because I go back to 2009, when I criticized the Obama White House for the lack of black people in the press office, because I say it is, who's a junior now becomes a senior in the next administration. And so what then happens is, when a Rashida Jones comes in now as president, she can now install her own team. That's right. And so guess what? What, what if all of a sudden, what if all of a sudden, Rashida Jones goes, well, you know what? My, my vice presidents and my EVPs and my SVPs, I want more black people. I want more Latino people. Now I'm assembling my own team. Now, folks, listen, what that now does is Rashida now is positioning the next wave of senior black and Latino executives where right. other companies be, then begin to hire. So if all of a sudden, if her mm -hmm. team of 20 execs are mostly white, she comes in and now all of a sudden it's now 50, 60% or more people of color when, cause Jeff Zucker's out at CNN, when Warner Media gives him the boot, they're gonna be looking to play, who do we hire? The reason we are never in position for the power positions is because we never ascend to a senior level. And so that's why you gotta have black people who when they do get power, they are committed to saying, I'm not gonna be the only one. And they are gonna say, I'm gonna hold that door open, damn hold it open, I'm gonna go blow the hinges off. And so now all of a sudden, you're able to build capacity because you're, you now have the power position. That's right. Media has such an impact on our lives, as we've seen over the years. I mean, it's just grown and grown. And, and how we see the world is shaped by major networks like MSNBC. So I just I just want to take a pause here and say that when I saw this news about Rashida, I just I actually ended up shedding a couple of tears. And, and I really get goosebumps because it's just so big. It's so, so big. I was celebrating uh, this whole time the Biden-Harris transition as it goes along and they're naming women and people of color and, and they're really changing what the executive branch looks like because there's been such little diversity. And then I look at news and I see this beautiful black woman who is seriously is going to be a power player that is setting the narrative for years to come. It just makes me so happy having become a part of all this, not as a, a journalist in any way, but as an opinion contributor, as an expert guest. Um, I, I have to say, number one, my hat's off to you, Roland. I started, uh, I met you in 2017. I started coming here on your show. And in 2018, I was invited on MSNBC and I've been going there since June of 2018. You create a pipeline. Media needs a pipeline and we can't do it unless it's all done this way. So yes, there needs to be black media as equally as important as Rashida being named president over at MSNBC. This is all of an above effort yep. uh, because what it does really at the end of the day, it lifts others as we rise. And because I started coming on this show, I've met so many incredible people that have lifted me in my rise. And I'm trying to look back and do the same because this is the thing. If we don't tell our story, stories, there's somebody out there telling them for us and they're not being told authentically. Yep. And, and, and frankly, then the, the nation is being done a disservice because we don't have the nation's diversity, the growing diversity of the American electorate reflected in how our news is given to us. Because people often think that, look, the news is spoon fed to us through a variety of outlets these days. Some of that's true. Um, actually, a large bit of that is true. But there remains these these fundamental uh, shifts in news. And one of the greatest ones is in how opinion contributors and expert guests like myself routinely join broadcast journalists on air to augment conversation. Right. And that's really important for average Americans to know is that I'm not out there giving you a factual take. I'm giving you an opinion take. Yep. And so when we realize how media works for us, then we became a more engaged, informed citizenry, and the country is better off for it. And, and, and just one last thing about 
about lifting others as you rise, um, because I see what Cesar Conde, who was named the the chairman of NBC Universal Group back in May of this year, I see that he's he's really doing good on his promise and his commitment. He set a goal of having a 50 percent diverse workforce across his division uh, back in July, and uh, I, I think this is this is really monumental with Rashida at the helm. There, we're going to see some shifts. Uh, it's not just about who's appearing on air; it's about when they're appearing on air as well. So let allow me to make this final point to, to pick up on Rita said when she talked about pipeline. When mm -hmm. you are intentional with it. Um, and no, go back to the panel, because I'm, I'm doing this for a reason. Okay, so you see the announcement, Tiffany Cross getting the show on MSNBC. Here's how she got on TV One. Jamal Simmons hits me up and says, hey, Tiffany Cross has this newsletter called The Beat. He said, man, she'd be great for your show. I was like, all right, cool. So then we booked it. Then we started booking her more and more and more. To Rena's point, all of a sudden, other networks start calling. The exact same thing happened when I put Angela Rye on my show. I just sat there. I got a television on right here. I keep it on. I just saw Paul Butler legal analyst mm -hmm. on MSNBC. Right. Y'all, right. go, to, go to YouTube. You can see Paul Butler, Georgetown professor, when he was on my TV One show, Washington Watch, back in 2009, before mm. MSNBC called. I can go down the list, the number of people, Sir Michael Singleton, mm -hmm. Paris Denard. <laughs> I right. can go David Swertlick. I mean, we can go... Mm -hmm. Everybody's talking about everybody, everybody's talking about right. talking about uh, 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 Lauren Coates. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. Man, people, are, oh my God, so Lauren Coates filling on CNN. Guess where the first show she filled in? My TV mm. One show. What I'm trying to get everybody to understand is the issue is not yay a black executive. The issue is how do we as African Americans, when we are in a position of power create the opportunity for others who would ordinarily be ignored to be able to come into the door. Amen. I spent six years, I need y'all watch and understand, I spent six years at CNN and I watched how contributors got blocked. I watched how great voices never got a shot. And I said, nah, mm -mm. I'm gonna do that. So when I hosted, when I filled in, when I, when I did specials for CNN, no, no, we're going to put that person on. Y'all, I'm cracking up laughing watching Steve Kornacki getting all his love. I can show y'all when he was on Pilots, I did at CNN. Guess who was a guest on a pilot I did at CNN? Rachel Maddow. <laughs> guess who was on... <laughs> Pilots that I did at CNN, Melissa Harris Perry. So what I'm trying to say is, this is where when we get in positions of power, we must use the power. That's right. That's what they done. They've done. Use the power, and when you use the power, and then all of a sudden you you begin to infield. That's why I can sit back. You ain't got to shout my name, but when I turn that TV on and I see a black person, Gianno Caldwell's on Fox News right now. Where did he get his start? On TV mm -hmm. One. Y'all, that was deliberate. It was deliberate. But, that, but the only way that happened is because I had the power to make it happen. And so that's what's key for our audience to understand. We must, when we get the power, we must celebrate it then we must use it. It's time to be smart. When we control our institutions, we win. This is the most important news show on television of any racial background. Y'all put two, three, four, five, 10, 15, 20, 30 dollars on this and keep this going. What you've done, Roland, since this crisis came out in full bloom. Anybody watching this, tell your friends, Go back and look at the last two weeks, especially of Roland Martin Unfiltered. I mean, hell, go back and look at the last two days. You've had 
sitting United States senators today, Klobuchar and Harris. Whatever you have that you have, you can bring to Roland Martin unfiltered to support it. Please do, because this information may literally save your life. Watch Roland Martin unfiltered daily at 6 p.m. Eastern on YouTube, Facebook, or Periscope, or go to RolandMartinUnfiltered.com. Support the Roland Martin Unfiltered Daily Digital Show by going to RolandMartinUnfiltered.com. Our goal is to get 20,000 of our fans contributing 50 bucks each for the whole year. You can make this possible. RolandMartinUnfiltered.com.